click that like button share this video out and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already subscribed youtube um live features done changed a lot since i went live back in 1952 so i want to just do a quick video y'all I want to do a quick video. I want to speak to Sunway Reviews. Sir, I saw your um, video. And I know my phone is going to overheat. So let me make it quick. I saw, I just watched your video. And I found you by way of... Oh my goodness. Sorry, sis. I can't remember the name of your channel. But she had done... Um, you know, she, she goes in on the Jacksons. Okay. Way more than I do. In fact... It was her video I came across to even hear about who the Jacksons of Atlanta are. And um, if you guys don't know who the Jacksons of Atlanta are, you, you can look them up. But what you're going to see is a hot mess, okay? These people are bad parents and they're very abusive and neglectful of their children. So that's long story short. So I'm going to review, sir. First of all, I commend you for speaking up about your experience with them and trying to warn other people that's very commendable you know because it's just you know it's just something that takes courage and you were very respectful and professional about you know everything you had to say however however Telling the internet and warning people is one thing. And, you know, we know at the end of the day, just like people see what we all see, and they still follow and support them every single day, there's still going to be people that are going to have encounters with them even after hearing your message. However, they have six children there. And I, I believe you are an instructor of some kind. You said you have 100 children. And uh, it's two people in the chat. Come on, y'all. Hit the light. All right. Thank you. But you are, unless this is Mahogany and Justin. Is this Mahogany and Justin? Y'all haven't seen the videos I've done on y'all? You may want to go watch them. Especially the last one that I did. Because that one was a big warning. Now, someone who has been in your home, who has been around you and your children, have confirmed what we see. And they know more about what we have not seen. So. I don't even need to tell you. Okay. Now, Sunway, sir. You have an obligation. I'm not sure how long your uh, work was for them. But to hear the things that you did share about what you saw with them and the children it's like the first day i wouldn't have went back there well i could see going back one more day you know to gather evidence and or to you know just be sure that you know did i see what i think i saw and after that i would have been at the police station and i would have been at DFS, DFCS, or whatever they call it here in Atlanta. If you can go to court and you can get um, other employees of theirs, past employees, to go to court with you so you can sue them for your money, which I think you said it was around $2,000. And yes, you should want your money. But you didn't make no stops to report them with those babies. None of y'all did. They even had a nanny that was there. And she got duped out of her money too, just like so many other people, according to you. But she saw and experienced what was going on with those children. And y'all haven't reported them? No. No, sir. That's not going to fly. That's not going So you get up every day and you go to sleep every night knowing that you are not trying to help those children. You just gonna leave them there so they can fend for themselves. How can they do that? How can they do that? Six children, all under seven years old, and you're gonna leave them there 
hopefully that what things are going to change or somebody else might save them who's going to save them they're easily getting away with what they're doing and nobody's dumb it's so many people that support them that can even see what's going on but all those people that they encounter the grandmother and you know other people that they do skits with and work with that come inside that home and and we clearly see them out parlaying and having a great time knowing good and well they are completely neglecting their children which is supposed to be a family gym but the children are always in the house and in the room and that's not even the half of it guys I mean you can check out my videos I've done on them and check out you know other uh, just put in Jackson's of Atlanta and it's a couple sis out here that's really got their foot on their neck okay they got their foot on their necks and they smashing it okay all right and I'm a I'm a I'm a plug and share their videos um, when I get the opportunity I can't remember the name of their channel I only came across their channel because their videos was trending and I saw, I just happened to watch, it said Atlanta in it, so I was like, okay, let me see what's going on here. And she was going in on them and I was like, hold up. Okay, and I saw her video when she promoted this guy, Sonway Reviews, who was a video editor for them. And he told about the type of grimy people that they are, no surprises there. You know, but to have the audacity to treat someone that way and knowing that they're doing this to a lot of people, but knowing that y'all absolutely do not care. This guy said, y'all do not care about your children at all. Okay. He, he, he didn't just tell of the abuse and neglect. He also said, you literally do not care about your children. You don't even get, get really know your children's names. And that's not even something that we did not notice ourselves. That y'all don't really know those children's names. That y'all don't spend time with them. That you guys are abusing and neglecting them severely. And that they have developmental delays or you know some some something's going on besides you know the what the oldest one who has autism i think you need to call up that nanny and whoever went to court with you and y'all need to go file a report and y'all need to stay on these people and make sure that you know give them every video every time stamp that can back up what you're saying and let them know that you've been at home. You've experienced them. You know, I don't know what's wrong with people these days. You know, and I'm not really trying to be mean to y'all. But at the same time, honestly, I don't care. Okay? I don't care about how I'm coming off, coming across to y'all. Because you, you went inside a home to do business with people. And you're around children and you're seeing how they're being treated and you just decide to go on with your life but you're going to expose them on the internet you've been there so i'm assuming that you guys are in georgia that's even better you can carry your butt down there i i, I don't know can can you tell me why you have not turned them in can you tell me why you chose to just go about your business? Who's going to save those children? Who's They clearly need to be saved. We can tell they don't care about those children. And you were there and you're saying that they don't care about those children. And you chose to just keep it moving. I don't know why people do this. I, I really don't. I don't understand it. Why? Why do you turn a blind eye? Okay, it, it's not. It's not okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. You don't get no pats on the back, no hooray hero from me, because you did a video exposing him. Not. And if you did turn him in, and you're staying on it and making sure that they're literally, literally investigating that family, then. 
I'm, I don't apologize because you didn't say that to us. If you can say as much as you said about the children, you can tell us, and yes, I've reported them. I mean, it's cool. You have 100 students and you know all of their names versus them having six children and they don't even know their own children's names. Okay, that's a flex. You know what's a bigger flex? I'm making sure that there's a full investigation being done to make sure that those children are going to be okay. Yeah. Anything can happen to those children. And then what is anybody going to say? Make excuses for them still? You know how much stuff children can get into when they're left on their own? Boys, six of them? I mean, they just leave them and pull them out for a few minutes of filming. Amongst everything else, okay? Amongst everything else. I'm not even going to get into that. I'm already vibrating low with all this. It's just a lot, you know, of just stories and trauma and stuff that I've been taking in lately. And it's just, I, I'm, I, I need to dump them and recharge you know but no sir you you guys got to report them i don't know if that's if that was a nanny or someone they hired to just call her a nanny but at the end of the day regardless of which one whether she's a professional trained nanny or she's someone who was babysitting and they decided to call it a nanny because they feel like it sounds fancier and I believe she did live there at a time. So, he, heck yeah, she understands, you know, what's truly going on with those children. And the fact that y'all can just walk away and go live your life and not, you know, uh, make sure that the proper authorities are taking care to make sure that those children are going to be okay. It's ridiculous. I mean, they think they're the star of the show anyway, Justin and Mahogany. So they don't need the children. They don't need the children. Those are some horrible people. And I'm requesting y'all to step up. I got a message. It said it's held for review. Oh, somebody must be trolling. Hold up. Hold up. Let me see the message. Faith and repentance. Scrolling, scrolling, and liking, liking. Okay, thank you for... Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't know why it, it, it held it. Probably because of the emojis. YouTube probably sees it as spam because it's a lot of emojis and repetitive words. But it's all positive and I thank you, Hare Krishna. Yes. I just, uh, Soundway Reviews, sir, again, you are definitely commended for recognizing that, you know, this is, is not, not okay the way they are with their children and you are also commended for coming on here and putting that out there okay and to hear you even say it was hard being there every day i know that wasn't just about your own experiences with them although that was just wow the audacity these two have jeez but it was also you having to understand, see and understand that this, this is these children's experience. And you know that there's no hope for change for them. And even if you thought that, even if you would tell yourself that, you can't leave it up to that. Their chances of survival are very, very slim. And then you said that um, you feel like Justin and Mahogany are off. Okay, um, I think I've said that. And I think a couple other people said that. So, um, yeah, they probably are. But even knowing that, it's even worse. And they got to be, to be doing the type of skits that they do with their children alone should be enough for people to say, hold up. But the things that they do when it comes to the lies, the blatant lies that people can see, you know, 
first of all, y'all, I don't think it was a happenstance that they got pregnant with twins, okay? We we really don't know anything about their family except for what? A mother-in-law that we saw once or something like that? So we don't know their history of twins. But I'm pretty sure they probably purposefully did some type of fertilization treatments to make sure that it was a good chance that they had twins. And once they accomplished that, because it makes for good content, right? Why not have another set of twins? And they did that, right? And of course, they marketed the mess out of it. And then... Why not try and do it a third time? But I don't know if it was a money thing or it was, it just didn't happen. But they did lie and say, yeah, we're having a third set of twins. And when it came down to the time for the twins to be born, they said, oh, we lost one of them. And they don't want to elaborate on it anymore. to those who don't watch them in which I don't watch them but I did watch pretty much all of them except for their personal channels who cares to to do my own full investigation of that channel to see how things truly were and I got stuff on them that I, I just ain't felt like editing and putting up that just really lines they ass up but f forget all this internet stuff i hey i done gave y'all my warning and i meant it okay however 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 the primary responsibility does not follow me and at the end of the day i was not one of the adults who was actually there in the house with those children. I don't see how. And you say, they're sweet kids. They're well, uh, children. They're sweet children. And you left them on their own with those monsters that are supposed to be their parents. And you decided to do what for them? To try and help them. I'm not going to say I know the full procedures of DCFS. However, from what I do know and what I have seen on that channel, it's enough to, to take the ass. That doesn't sound good, but I'm, I'm not happy. I can tell you that. It's, it's enough. All the way down to them not even having food in the, in the, in the house. Because they go eat out all the time while the children be at home. You know, I just, when I saw her post a video, she was like, this is the videographer. And, you know, he's, you know, exposing them. And she played some of it. And then she said he spoke on the children. I'm like, okay, he's going to speak on the children. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's see. Okay, she showed a little bit of it. I said, she said, there's more on his channel. Okay, so you you had about an hour long video. So I'm like, um, let me go see if he's going to speak more on the children. And he, he did. He elaborated on the children. I'm like, you know, there's a lot of stuff that, you know, I respect him choosing not to say on here. But I, you spoke on them, which is like, I'm like, okay, so you it's clearly a problem it's clearly bothering you it's clearly enough for you to you know sit up here and repeat this on your channel that has nothing to do with that type of content anyway what sir what are you doing what are you waiting on how long ago was this even i didn't even check the date i've been out and about so i don't know I, i'm gonna i'm gonna try to personally contact this brother because listen you are the first and the only person who I have heard who had firsthand experience in that home and with those children and their parents. And you, there's no way you going to sit up here and make me believe that you just going to keep going on about your life, but you going to keep pursuing your money. I don't mean no harm about your little $2,000. 
and it's not little to me it's not little to you but it's little in comparison to those children that's what I mean when I say your little $2,000 because your experience there certainly wasn't about no $2,000 or how you know I'm just estimating based upon what you said I'm pretty sure you deserve way more than that for what you went through nobody in a working business relationship you weren't necessarily their employee you were a hired contractor and even to treat an employee that way would be ridiculous and I don't know how old you are or you know what the case was that made you just like go through all that especially them him demanding you come over when you sick so he can check your temperature to make sure that you're really sick and then telling you you probably had the heat on in your car to make your temperatures like he's slow he's slow to say that though like your temperature gonna stay high high so you say your temperature was high it had to be what over 99 right so so your heat was so good that your body stayed at a high temperature for the time you got in the house and they got their thermometer together and figured out how to use it and then took your temperature. They wouldn't have been taking my temperature, you know, but it's a reason for everything. It's a reason for everything. And your experience at the end of the day was not as much about that money as you think it was. You were yet another person sent by God to do what you need to do and do God's work and help those children just like other people should have especially the nanny I can't vouch for how much time other people spent with the children although you did say there were at least two other videographers so they're videoing the, the mahogany and Jason sloppy selves along with you know the children so I, I just I don't know what's going on y'all I don't know what's going on but it's not okay we gotta stop sitting around and letting things be okay that's not okay but then you wanna and I'm not necessarily saying this just at him or directly at him I'm just talking about this is what's going on these days you run into the internet people running around here trying to defend P Diddy for what reason and you know it's like come on people still they're trying to defend r kelly amongst a whole bunch of other abusers but sir you know i'm just gonna stop because i'm just gonna keep being repetitive and ranting because i'm just sitting here like i i was waiting for you to say along because bump the court stuff i didn't really did. that's your business I, I had no interest in that part once you expressed confirmation of what's been going on with those children i was waiting to hear you say and yes i turn i'll even scroll through some of the comments i'm like nobody ain't gonna ask this dude what he gonna do about the children sir you're not gonna just leave those children sitting there because i'm gonna direct them to your channel this is the guy who was there every day and you aren't at this point aren't you an accomplice I mean, you were there, and you kept coming back. Your experience as an adult pales in comparison to what these children are stuck with having to deal with from these people every day. And they deserve better. They deserve a chance. They don't stand a chance with these people. If anything, they something can happen to them they're way too neglected way too neglected they're gonna get into something one day it's inevitable with small children especially when your day in and day out is being stuck in a room you're gonna eventually start coming up with ideas and who's gonna be there to to catch them and you know save somebody like nobody because they don't even be checking for them these children still in diapers, y'all, and they all, all the way up to like almost seven years old. They're all in diapers. They're delayed. You can tell they don't socialize. You can tell that you can see these children with their parents. In the videos, them videos was hard to watch, man. They was hard to watch. But when I saw that woman's video on them, 
She remind me of healing within. That's that's who she remind me of. Healing within. She be going in on young Pharaoh. And you know, she don't never really show her face. She be behind the camera, but you know, same kind of similar voice and similar style of attack. <laughs> you know, and um I just kept listening. I was like, I don't know who these people are, but what is she saying? Uh, oh, what? What? And then I came back again. I listened to another one of her videos. And I was like, let me go over here for myself and see. Because this is pretty bad what I'm hearing. And then I started going through their channel and just watching and looking. And I'm just one video after another. I'm like, this can't be. And then I go in the comment section and it's just people who, what's wrong with y'all? What's going on with people falling in love with people online and stuff and worshiping them and all that kind of crazy, silly, sickly type stuff? Like, what's going on with that? Even to the point where you act like you don't even see, care, or recognize, or willing to, like, speak against it wrongdoings that you see. I mean, come on, y'all. We can't be this desensitized. You can clearly d depict abuse and separate that from, you know, something that, oh, that's messed up what you just did. No, it's a lot of crazy stuff going on on the internet, but we, we can't just be. Sorry, um, I, I'm, I'm gonna need you to, um, I'm gonna need you to report, I'm gonna need you to report them, I'm gonna need you to get on that, I'm gonna need you to stay on them and make sure that they actually do, um, check this family out, and if, if they don't intervene, then it's, it's gonna be somebody else that's gonna be needed to contact, to be contacted, because you know that this is I, I I I put my warning out there, and I fell back. I said so I'm gonna give her a little bit of time, cause first she gotta hear the message, right? So who knows? Second, you after you hear the message, you gotta get past that. Who she thinks she is? Okay, don't mess around and find out, cause you sure gonna find somebody has confirmed that your children are abused and neglected. As I can clearly see and others can clearly see and they're calling you out on it. Who do y'all think y'all are? I don't even care who you think you are. Holly, clearly you think you think highly of yourselves. Both of you. But I'm not even going to tell you why you're wrong. Because, you know, YouTube ain't going to like it. Okay, and, um, you know, me and YouTube, we, you know... They, 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 they. I ain't saying they giving me money. I ain't saying that, but. Oh, they can hear me. So, you know, um, I, I stay in trouble <laughs> since I've been on here. So, um, they, they trying to, you know, they trying to get me to act right, I guess. <laughs> by doing all that so I'm like okay we'll see where this go we'll see where, we'll see where this go I'll you know I'll you know just try to straighten up fly right a little bit a little bit but uh, uh Justin and Mahogany I don't know what's wrong with y'all and it's not for me to even care but I'm telling you right now if you really truly think that just everybody who see you is just gonna keep just sit be like I'm minding my business or that's a shame and walk away, no, that's not happening. That's not that's not happening. The right one done found you. The right one done found you. The other lady that I watched that be going in on them, she I like how she be calling them out. But, and it's, she got every right. That's her path to walk. But I be feeling, like, she be, like, sliding back this way a little bit. And it's like, she trying to support them. And, you know, she trying to, it's basically giving, hopefully it'll straighten itself out. Or hopefully they'll do better one day. 
And everybody got their role to play in this universe. So, you know, it is what it is. I just recognize it. And I've seen this before. I've seen it so many times. And then you, you when you get when you get to letting your head do you like that, you end up becoming supporters. You end up ignoring the things that you are not supposed to be ignoring. Okay. It's a, it's a no for me, y'all. It's a no for me. Because for for the for the I, the two women that I know that really be getting them, really be putting out a lot of content on them, exposing them and showing their, you know, hands. I couldn't have been doing it that much without reporting the ass. And I don't hear y'all saying that. The one that I listen to the most, I can't remember their channel names, y'all, just in case you don't understand. I'm a I'm a I'm a share them on my community tab. But I don't see how you just keep covering it and you're like, you're not going to do any. These are children. What's wrong with y'all? Sir, what's wrong with you? You went in there. You saw these babies and you didn't, you didn't, uh, do, you didn't do nothing. You got to do something, sir. You got to do something. Okay. So, uh. I'm just putting this out there in the universe, but this is not where it ends for me. Okay? So, there's that. But I had to let you know, brother. Okay? Today. You got time. Okay? Handle that. Alright? I'm going to be in touch.